Hi, it's Daniel back again. Um, I did a video on drum tracking that I got a big response on. So now I'm going to do a video on just how to add videos. And say you recorded the drum track and you want to add a video to it. I'm just going to show you how to do that. So first, I'm going to just share my screen. So share, you can see my screen. I'm going to just put this file down. Put this file down these things are loading I'm gonna put them down so someone or someone asked me to record some afrobeat tracks for them so what I've done is I've dragged the movie in so I've we transferred the link from my phone as a selfie I've we transferred it and if I go into finder go into downloads or I saved it as water though Water no get no enemy video and then in logic all I've done I've dragged it in so I've literally just done this dragged it in now it's already dragged in so you just drag it in there I'll put it back where it was and the video came up and we dragged it in and the first thing that I do when I drum track I always count off so I did a one two three four on my sticks so you'll hear it so let me just make sure that I shared sound on zoom because i know i shared screen but i've also got to make sure that i share sound so let me just yeah click share sound to make sure that you can hear it so on the click i mark the click that marks where the one is when you're doing video recordings it's very important to mark where the one is and then basically i muted it because if i don't mute it I muted that channel with the video and that way you won't hear the audio from the video so this is me muted it so I'll play it with it muted so that's just the drum track if I unmute it I'm gonna get the video the noise from the video and the noise from the thing so I'm getting the noise from the video and the noise from the recording that I did from that into logic but I just want the I just want the logic so I just gotta be it so you have to just listen to it from start to finish make sure that it aligns so this is me just continuing to edit it so this track stops but the video continues so what I'm gonna do okay so I've stopped it there so I'm gonna just cut the because this is gonna waste time and waste space so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the bars down completely to, to where the video stops. So to where I end on the symbol, I'm going to stop it there. Let me keep on doing it. There's a quicker way to do this, but I want to go through the process. Okay, this is what happens when you speed it up. You have to go back. You have to speed it up. Waiting for it to go back, so I don't want to delete the wrong stuff. Okay, here, I'll stop it there. Okay, so I'm going to keep on playing it till it gets... Okay, so that's bar 35, so I'm going to mark bar 35. So I'm going to stop it at just before 35. You don't want to have it going till 60 or 70, because that there's going to be a lot of wasted time there. Okay, and then now, okay, I'm going to take this, I don't want the drumless track yet, delete track, and then I'm going to, let's see if my memory serves me correctly, I'm going to go into file, movie, import audio, export audio to movie, just put, save it, I'm going to save it to desktop, Okay, I'm just gonna bounce the whole thing and all being well, it should all work. So that's right in movie, and this is how you bounce audio to movie. Next step is adding the drumless track, which I can do in another video. Okay, so what I always do, I just go to Finder, download, and then recent. 
We'll only get the ADB video. What time was this done? 28.7. I want to get the most recent one. So, what are the get? video where did I save this let's see this is a, it's good for us to know where we save these things we'll want to get the enemy video let me go back to logic let me do it again and I want to make sure that I save it in the correct place so movie import export let me just do movie and then I want to save this file it says that it's saved on the desktop enabled, I'm going to enable that ok, file let me see if I can find that. Where did it save it to? I saved it on the desktop. Let me see if I can find it. There. Video 2 and then there was one that said final. But there. And then when we play it you're going to hear the audio with the track. with the audio from Logic and this is the original video so you could hear the difference the original video download always know where you save your stuff so that was done at 2006 it's now 2026 this is the original video <laughs> from my phone and then when you hear it being mixed in Logic so this would be drum tracking it I was recording that into Logic but that was using my phone audio and then with Logic let me go back to desktop I hope you can hear the difference so that's how you do that other things you can try out is dragging the track, a drumless track for using that app called Moise. I'll put a link of that in the description. And the other things that you can do is mic up everything if you want. I just did two overheads, a bass drum mic and a hi-hat mic. I just used four, but you can choose to use six mics, seven mics, eight mics, two mics. I chose to use four. Okay, any questions, post them in the comments. Like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. When I've got free time, I'm going to do my best to add more tips. Because I needed these tips when I was drum tracking. So I was just thought to just give these tips back. I hope you enjoy. Have a good rest of the day.